This is insane. So we have a pen that comes with the laptop. It pulls right out of the backside of the laptop here. And then you have this, basically this drawing pad on your keyboard deck. They call it the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus G3. And in this video, let's unbox it. I don't even know like what to expect. Now I know what this thing looks like, right? So I saw a picture of it when I heard that they were gonna be sending one my way. Lenovo said, hey, we got the ThinkBook Plus G3. Do you wanna check it out? Pulled the picture up and I thought that looks insane. I can't wait to check this thing out. And this is actually one of the first models I think I've ever received from Lenovo that has not previously been reviewed. This is a brand new model. I'm super amped about this. Looks like everything's gonna be contained in the package. That is a beautiful looking package. Look at that. Woo, that is pretty. There we go, you can see it there. But look at that, you see that little sneak preview there? There's a sticking screen on the, on the keyboard deck. This is a 17 inch laptop. Oh my word, I can't wait to get into this thing. It's a 3K display, comes with the uh, i7-12700H. So no, this is not the latest 13th gen model. I know, boo hoo, we gotta have the latest and greatest if we're gonna be acceptable in life, right? No, wrong. Old tech, old tech is still really good. This laptop will be plenty powerful for even 6K video editing, I'm guessing. No guarantees, but we're gonna benchmark it and find out, but definitely 4K. Definitely 4K. All right, let's go ahead, pull this thing out. Oh man, the anticipation is killing me. All right, so let's see you check out the, the handy dandy charger block first. Tell us a little bit about the laptop. We got a little power adapter there. Where's the power block, huh? Power block must be beneath the laptop. So here's the laptop. It's very wide. I mean, that is an exceedingly wide laptop. Let me go grab the, I'll be right back. So as you can see here, look how wide this laptop is. This is not a 16 by 10 aspect ratio laptop in case you were wondering. This is much wider. Um, but before we move on, let's go ahead and pull out the charger block. So by this small charger block, this 100 watt charger block, I am guessing that we do not have a dedicated GPU. I think all we're gonna have in this is the i7-12700H and 16 gigs of RAM. Now that's fine because the i7-12700H can run 4K video editing. You don't need a dedicated GPU. However, if you're gonna be getting into 6K or any like really heavy 3D modeling, this maybe would not be the laptop I would pick. But I'm so excited about this laptop for so many other reasons other than its capability for like 3D modeling. Just, just go ahead and get the Legion 5 Pro or 5i Pro. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus G3, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Oh man, nice aluminum finish. Those edges fit nicely into the side panel, bottom cover, looking good. Man, I love the back panel uh, ports. We have USB type C, two USB type A's and HDMI. And then on the left side panel, we have, looks like our headphone jack, USB type C, and then nothing on the right side panel. And it looks like this is a USB C charger. Yeah. So one of those USB C's is going to be taken as your charger, but the cool thing is you can charge it from the side or the back. Really like that. So if you don't want too many of your USB C's taken up, I recommend snagging a dongle. Otherwise, Nice, thin, and light charger block. And there's your nice, thin, and light package. This thing is really cool. All right, let's go ahead and open the lid. Oh, I'm like really excited about this thing. Whoa, look at that. That is a huge screen. Oh my word. And then we have this super wide panel. This would be really nice for video editing. You can have like a really big timeline with all your effects on it. This could make a really Bad video editing machine. And by bad, I mean badass. So, man, let's get this. Oh, I'm gonna get this thing fired up. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and uh, close it back down, do a quick tap test. Sounds good. Tiny bit rattling on the bottom cover. Of course, it is so thin and light. You see the weight and thickness coming up on the screen. Let's go ahead and check the open and close. I'm definitely guessing, yep, one-handed. It's got some good weight to it. Let's go ahead and check that screen flex. 
for how wide this screen is, I'm shocked there's not uh, much screen flex at all. That's fantastic. This looks like the same size trackpad as the Legion 5 Pro that I have here. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Yeah, almost the exact same trackpad. That looks great. Man, it's so thin and light. This looks super good. All right, we gotta get this thing turned on. This is insane. So we have a pen that comes with the laptop. It pulls right out of the backside of the laptop here. And then you have this, basically this drawing pad on your keyboard deck. The reason I like this as compared to having like a touch screen, which this is a touch screen anyway, is that you can have it mounted on your keyboard deck. And so it doesn't move around as you're trying to draw something, right? That's my biggest pet peeve is that you try and draw something and your screen kind of goes away from you. Where this, you can immediately just click this button here and have a sketch pad and you can sketch out an idea. And then if you want to share that to your screen, let's say you're in a meeting, like you're in a video call, you're like, hey guys, check out this thing I just sketched. Do you guys like this? Bam, it's right there on your screen. You can share your screen and show everybody on the video call what you're working on. Now, opposite of that, this is really, really cool. So what you can do is you can actually go ahead and reverse that screen share and do it the other way where it's zooming in on, let's say a project inside of like Photoshop. So you're like, okay, I want this area right here. I need to work on this area right here. I got to sketch up on this a little bit. And then bam, let's say you're in Photoshop. I'm not right now because I haven't even set up this computer, but you can go ahead and you can make that adjustment instead of trying to draw on your screen. The, the technology here is so useful. It's not like they just added a screen here and said, hey, figure it out, hope you hope for the best for you. They've thought about the integration and they've thought about how creators might use this. And I think this is fantastic. It's so practical because for two in one screens, you've often had to, you know, flip it over or you've had to, you know, kind of hold your screen so it doesn't, you know, bounce or, or fall down. This, it's on the keyboard deck. So it's not going anywhere. I think it's super cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pen back. I can't wait to do like a full review of this laptop and talk about all the different features that it has. This is like the first laptop that I've actually wanted to like play with these features, the two-in-one features. Mostly I'm like, okay, yeah, you flip the screen over and then you draw on it. But like this, this is something special. I think it's really, really cool. The keyboard is great. I was typing on it, getting it set up, and it's just so tactile, so snappy. It's a nice short key press. I'm really digging it. The trackpad is a good size. It's not huge. I don't think it has to be huge with this really nice uh, touchpad you have, this little drawing pad area. I'm not so concerned about the size of the trackpad because I have so much functionality here with this digital touchpad, this like drawing pad that's built into your laptop. I mean, they've taken like a Wacom Intuos and put it into a laptop. Now the widescreen aspect ratio, I do like for certain respects. I think it'll be really great inside of Premiere Pro. Um, but it may turn some people off. I know people are more and more looking to the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and I do as well. I like 16 by 10, but this is almost like 18 by nine aspect ratio. I don't know the exact aspect ratio off the top of my head. I'd have to look into the specs, but the fact that it's intentionally wider makes sense for this device. It's not like they accidentally forgot to upgrade it. Like this is supposed to be wider to fit all the components and all the design into the laptop. Like this laptop totally caught me off guard. I did not expect to be reviewing something like this uh, this year. And I didn't even know about it until Lenovo reached out and said, hey, you should definitely check out this device. And I was like, yeah, I definitely should. That looks really cool. I'm glad I'm checking it out and I'm glad I am have the ability to tell you about this device. Now, I think the one big problem with this device is probably going to be battery life. We have an i7-12700H, we have dual screens, and it's a 3K display. So it's going to be able to be pretty bright as well. So in my opinion, you're definitely going to want to bring the charger along with you even before I even do any testing. Luckily, it's a small 100 watt charger block and nothing crazy, but I'm really feeling like this thing's gonna hog battery quite a bit. However, I could be wrong. I could be misjudging this thing. Perhaps it's gonna have better power management than I expect. However, just from past experiences, I feel like it's gonna be a decent battery life, but we'll have to do the full benchmarks to check out the exact battery life for this system. Lest we forget, we still have three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros to give away when we reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, definitely do so when we pass 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna be giving three of these away, so you don't wanna miss out on that announcement video. Now this laptop does come with a webcam, and here's a quick sample of the webcam so you can see and hear what it's like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo ThinkBook G3 Plus, and a little sample of the audio for you as well. All right, without further ado, as always, let's go ahead, flip the laptop over, take the bottom cover off, and see what we have in regards to an upgrade path. 
All right, so we have the bottom cover pulled off of the laptop, and as I expected, there is no opportunity to upgrade the RAM. So this will come with 16 gigs, and it will remain at 16 gigs, no upgrade possibility. However, you do have the opportunity to upgrade your SSD. However, there's not a unoccupied SSD slot, so the only option you have is to swap out the 512 that my model comes with here for, say, a one terabyte or two terabyte drive. Now, it does come with a 67.3 watt hour battery. Now, I'm really curious during the full review what kind of battery life we'll be getting with this laptop. Now, I must say that this is probably my favorite artist laptop I've seen in quite a while. I think the practicality of having that screen on the side that is pen activated, it's a touch screen, it has these neat little shortcuts that allow you to maximize parts of the screen so you could touch up what's on the main screen, on the secondary screen. I just think it's so practical and useful. It's not just like, hey, let's stick a touch screen on this laptop and we'll let you figure out how to support with your hand or flip it over for two and one. You still have all the access that you need of a laptop, like great a selection of ports, a nice keyboard, a good size trackpad, a full size screen. It just has so much going for it that I really think this is a great opportunity for many artists, designers, and photographers. Remember, there will be links in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase or if you want to check the availability of this laptop. Likes of this video has brought you some value, and don't forget to subscribe. When we reach 100,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I'll see you here in the next one.